hello lovely people hope that I manage really hope that I manage to go live not sure if someone is watching hmm, probably that's Claudia not sure okay so you're gathering hey Claudia yeah I recognize your icon Hope that everything is fine and um, you can enjoy me and you can see me and sound is good. Hello Liz, thanks for inviting and hosting this event. Hello Prita, how are you doing? Hey Ashwini, it's so lovely to see so many familiar faces. Bennett! And I'm really missing, missing, missing this situation when I can't see you. So the A hey Margaret, much love. Uh, topic today is not the whole thing. Uh, it's only this um, these guys here and uh, the crows but anyway this is arrangement with uh, my latest uh, wafer paper flowers and corn flower is from the last one it will launch uh, next monday hey tracy keep well hope that everything with hospital will will pass very very soon and yeah I'm looking to see you in Zoom again really oh I'm a kind of envy for people that is hot in Sofia at the moment it's almost 40 degree so I'm desperately dying here uh, it's really really super hot and very crazy to work with wafer paper I uh, kind of miss the rainy weather from a few months ago uh, but anyway, so uh, we are doing a corn dog, dog rolls, okay, dog rolls in a minute. Hello, Mr. Dunn. Lovely to see you here. Hey, Antonio. And um, uh, as I told you, you can check my website for the list of the lesson, fancy and tiny roses and the corn flower if you eventually want to make the whole arrangement uh, probably it's not necessary to introducing myself I see here so many familiar faces and friends but anyway if you have no idea Petr Shmarova is here I'm from Bulgaria based in Sofia wafer paper for our artists I have a book which is unfortunately uh, out of stock at the moment so probably time to write another one finger cross let's see I can do probably this because of this pandemic situation I'm teaching mostly as most of everybody else online and I'm doing a lot of fun during my zoom week lesson and now during the summer break uh, everything is uh, with pre-record video stuff so people can buy and watch whenever they are during the summer vacation the only hint here with the summer lesson is that they will be available to purchase for a short time so they're not will stay uh, there forever but if you purchase and sign you will have um, access to lesson a kind of forever any questions before i try to turn the whole thing down to my working table uh, we're working with wafer paper as well hope that most of you know know this material no questions um, I just have one kind of tiny small uh, uh, ask uh, when I start the demonstration could you please keep the questions till the end of the demonstration because because the whole camera will be down uh, eventually I can check uh, my book will I, I don't think that it will be back in stock uh, anytime near future yeah 
it's something like who has it lucky them now we can have options <laughs> and this kind of stuff uh, so when i start the demo uh, the phone will be down i can try to keep an eye over the laptop but uh, i really prefer when when i finish the demonstration uh, to have again chat with you and um, to have some question uh, answering question session because probably during the whole thing i will answer your questions let's say that i'm doing this uh, not for first time so usually i can guess the questions and i'm trying to be um, very um, strict with the information that I'm the uh, when I'm that I'm giving. Anything else before we jump down? So the book is out of stock. You can check eventually at um, Hong Kong um, Blossom Cakes. They were stocking my book, and I think that they still have few copies. So you can order via Hong Kong. And um, there were one shop in Philippines that was stocking my book. Not sure how are they with uh, with numbers, but uh, the one in Sofia are sold out. Sorry. Okay. Let's not waste time. I'm I'm going down, 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 and let's see how it's going to be. Oh, let me check. Uh, am I live? Where am I? So here are flowers. Hmm. Okay, I find myself. Ah, uh, okay. So now I have a picture. So eventually I can try to make the whole thing much more visible for you. Let's move. And I have to be. Oh, it's so frustrating with this camera and stuff. I really prefer my zoom situation. It's much more easy for me. Here with the phone, it's kind of too crazy. Uh. Uh. Uh, probably. Probably it's somewhere there. So hope that you can, you have a good picture around the table. You can let me know how it is at the moment. So as usual, I have a little preparation. Okay. So. I think that it's visible, probably I can go a little bit closer. Okay, so uh, Doc Rose from Wafer Paper. First what is wafer paper it's uh, it's about paper made from potato starch but um, probably potato paper it's not something that sounding that yummy so the producer name is wafer paper but it's not like belgium wafers it's really a very nice material and surprise surprise i will work with 0 0.27 today so wafer paper comes in different thickness the most common one is this 0 0.27 and as you can see you have a rough side okay and you have a kind of smooth and shiny side 
Um, most of you know that I prefer to work with 0 0.35, but 0 0.35 it's not that easy to find, so today I'm with 0 0.27. The thickness that is more, much easy and uh, all around the market is really this 0 0.27. Uh, when you buy your wafer paper, aim this smooth side not to be crazy shiny. Okay. And when you open the pack, always, always, always store in a good plastic bag, okay? This will prevent paper from dry and same time from absorbing eventually too much moisture if in your area is too hot. Keep in mind that wafer paper love, loves moisture. It really hates uh, dry air and cold air as well. So if you have situation with uh, hot and humidity it's uh, perfect to work with wafer paper uh, with wafer paper what you can do a lot of stuff with wafer paper by the way uh, texturing uh, different flowers for example those peony my latest lovely creation uh, it's wafer paper and it's it's really much more difficult to destroy than sugar and it's eatable anyway so eventually if your customer are des desperate to eat something um, they can eat this flower um, these flowers can stay for a pretty long time if you store them in a box for a cake or i have a lot of stuff all around the house from last few years especially from the lockdown period and a lot of my of my Thanks, Margaret, is another online lesson available to order. But um, a lot of my friends are enjoying wafer paper stuff all around their houses. So when you deal with wafer paper stuff, you always have to pre-cut uh, your piece. And again, store in plastic bag. Eventually, if this will go to a cake, make sure to write down batch number and expiry day um, I'm not doing this for commercial cake that's why I never named and batch my, my bags uh, wafer paper has two years of expiry life so it's really a pretty long one and when it comes near to the expiry date it changed the smell and I believe that changing the smell is coming because of the oil inside you have a vegetable oil and yeah this oil just starting to get uh, super super interesting uh i will use wafer paper glue basically here i have in a small container a wafer paper mixed with super hot water until it gets to this uh, situation and it was much more thicker 30 minutes ago but because of the heat it start to become a kind of liquid but anyway it will work so when you start to prepare glue never never ever prepare too much in advance especially if it's too hot okay so to my taste it's a little bit runny if it's that runny you can add a little bit more wafer paper or you can just use it or throw away and make a new one so keep in mind that during the summertime, really, a paper glue, when it stays out, it's become super, super liquid with time. So another, another uh, very, very interesting thing with making wafer paper flowers is working with a perfect and good set templates. So with the sugar flowers, you have... Uh, cutters and veiners and this kind of stuff and if eventually something it's not fitting you always can draw a little bit and make uh, some here and there to fit uh, with paper you really have to work with super super nice templates if your templates don't work it's impossible to get a nice and good looking uh, final result and today I will work with patchwork cutters and because I have this set from many moons ago that's why it looks that set 
and I'm, I'm using this one a lot. So it's Warch Christmas Rose set from Patchwork Cutters. If you're not new to wafer, not wafer paper, but to cake decorating, I'm sure that Patchwork Cutters, it means something to you as a company. Amazing Marion Frost is even a member of this group and she's a genius and she creates all this stuff uh, for making uh, sugar or chocolate flowers and it's super super easy to use them but you can use patchwork uh, to get a perfect template for your wafer paper stuff okay so here I trace So you can see it's a normal paper and here on this normal paper I trace my cutters and I use a very very dark um, black uh, paint so it will be visible when you place your wafer paper over it will be very easy for you to take the templates over the paper okay but generally my templates here are made uh, one to one uh, following lines of patchwork cutters and I really love this thing and this design because here you have a five petals almost like with every easy rose but here your petals are not with one and the same shape so the finished flower looks much more natural and super amazing and my miniature roses are based on this cutter as well so you can do a lot of stuff with uh, with those fellows okay so let me show you how you can take your how you can transfer from here to here so one thing make sure that you're working with square that fit okay so rough side is up and first I will use something sharp in my case it's my um, Dresden tool okay and I just will go around because as you can see uh, it's absolutely visible so quickly go around So probably most of you have this patchwork set in their boxes but if you don't you can check patchworkcutters.com and amazing UK company and they have um, a huge list of suppliers all over the world so check the supplier list and you can choose from where to order uh, the other amazing thing about, about patchwork is that they are not expensive. This set is something like seven pounds, which is almost nothing. Hope that you can see the line. And here we go. You're taking a nice sharp scissor. Let's say that uh, with wafer paper, scissor is your rolling pin. And just quickly, this is skill that we get in kindergarten. I'll go around and cut. And again, you need to pre cut. So, for one dock rose, I will need only one of these super cute five petals flower. Don't throw this away, just keep in a separate back and use for preparing glue for example so this is one option uh, the other option and i'm really not a huge fan of this especially when i'm making uh, white flowers uh, you're taking a nice eatable paint okay let's say that foliage and cali uh, foliage so with the foliage we have left and right 
and it's super super uh, cool because you can have a left and right on your arrangement so just place again and here because this foliage will be green anyway uh, you can go around and gain a trace okay let's take one calyx as well Uh, the calyx it's not part of this set uh, I have my calyx from uh, large grandiflora but probably you can look into your stuff especially for the calyx in, uh, I think that it was three and a half centimeter um, yeah it's a three and a half and uh, it's uh, much perfect Okay, so let's took those quickly and I will tell you why I don't like this for white flowers. So really, really when you start to cut there is a huge opportunity that you can leave some of these lines and with white flower flowers it's a kind of super annoying. So, especially with the white stuff, I always, always trace uh, with something sharp. Of course, the other option is to transfer those into some uh, card to cut your uh, to cut this and to use and cut around wafer paper. So one calyx. I have my preparation and pre-cuts just really want to cut every single one of those so you will see that it's possible to cut with scissor because anyway I have my cutting potter and it's one of my best friends when I'm playing with paper um, but sometimes it's a huge fun to use your hands and to cut alone especially if you're watching some nice series you can sit down and take your time and relax okay so those will be dark anyway so I totally don't bother that I have some dark around okay and uh, I'm just placing everything into a bag because here it's really really super super hot and there is crazy 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 so now this part here is from this okay and you're using this to make eatable wafer paper uh, stamens okay so again here I just took the, the size of the hole central part and I measure one line here and one here because this part and this part should stay plain without any cuts and here you have to cut with your scissor zigzag a kind of zigzag so you you have it so let me show you the idea here so probably this is the most uh, it's not difficult but a little bit time consuming part for cutting parts for your uh, for your flowers and I'm taking those away for now so for one flower you will need both so for one set of stamens okay here and um, you will need both sides so for one flower you have to divide this into two separate so I'm starting from this end and I'm cutting to that end 
and I'm quickly starting to cut zigzag. And as I told you, here with especially with wafer paper, it's super important that you're working with a precise templates with perfect proportion and having this already designed and made is really really easy and I remember Marian sitting and demonstrating those during Cake International many months ago and every Every time people were very wow. Hope that at one point if she joined us or if she look watch this video later on, she will be proud of me. And by the way, one of the uh, accredited teacher and demonstrator with patchwork cutters, uh, not for wafer paper, in generally working with uh, the patchwork cutter stuff. If you don't try those, just give a try. They have amazing, amazing stuff. My Mod Orchid, the most uh, easy wafer paper orchid, is made again using patchwork set for Mod Orchid. And into the set you have uh, even the silicone veiner. So you can see that it's really, really not taking that huge amount of time. To divide this into two okay so if you're not happy if you think that those look a kind of heavy you can come and make an extra cut of course this will make your flower um, a little bit expensive so if your customers are a kind of not willing to pay enough money so skip this part with making stamens finer. Okay. If you're going to competition, take your time and make everything perfect. Eventually, if it's a real one, keep in mind that judges look everywhere. Okay. So, your stamens. Ah, uh, Privet. So we have people speaking Bulgarian as well. If you have questions in Bulgarian, I'll talk about it later. There will be a problem. Again, keep into your plastic bag. So for one flower, you need two of those stamens. And the important thing here is that you have to prepare stamens, fix to wire and leave to dry before you stick uh, the actual flower. Okay, that's why I have preparation. I have two prepared uh, because never mind that it's hot. You never know. I can eventually over wet uh, base and it will need more time to dry. So when you start to prepare those roses, first pre-cut your center, central part for stamens, and then fix to wire, leave to dry, and when those are dry you can store in a box by the way, and uh, you will have your centers ready for your flowers. Uh, in pink or in white depending of the project that you have so it's all about it's super uh, you, you will see that it's really a super super quickly one as long as you have uh, this center dry and ready so two for one and for for len I'm using granulated gelatin Mix with uh, dust foot grade color, yellow, sunflower yellow in my case. And I saw this from uh, Jacqueline Botfor from her book. 
amazing idea and I always love to mention people that I'm using the people that I'm using ideas of I really love this gelatin with dust color so we are slowly moving to wire and here I will go with 26 okay so 26 use some nice uh, grades of wire cover with paper then you will need white one okay um, divide in some let's say four or three it really depends uh, how big your the stem of the flower you will need okay so this aside and now I'm going with glue so apply some glue one side I always apply this over the smooth side so glue and I'm gluing base only I'm trying to keep those zigzag thing um, not wet make a tiny hook okay hook close okay so your sandwich and just start to roll and you're rolling keeping the level okay so you just quickly roll now press okay and let's roll the second one so touch and again roll okay and again press so press 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 and when you're pressing 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 you're opening those okay make them a little bit rough again glue and your pollen so apply a little bit over the tip okay dip take away and voila if you're not happy come and go here and there okay leave to dry we really need this base here to be completely dry hard drop dry before we come and apply flower action repeat in case that you missed so glue and glue hook okay and roll that it's not too noisy for you but if I close the window probably I will collapse from the heat and it's not good idea to work with air condition and wafer paper because it will change the way it dry so you have to suffer into a, a hot eventually so roll 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 here the wire could be 24 as well so 24 or 26 so press 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 super nice come and give some movement okay some glue tips leave to dry of course you can work with um, polenta or some other options for pollen but um, for wafer paper 
best option is really gelatin. And it's not expensive to have this. Let me cover this one as well. Okay. So, voila, I have four centers ready to go. Hope that on this stage everything is absolutely clear and you have no questions so far. As I told you, I really will go with question answering questions when we are done. So, quickly cleaning. So now it's time for shaping and making the real flower. And here I will go with dust cover food grade. Uh, it's up to you for the pink one. I love the lotus blossom one. Uh, a little bit plum for edges of the white one because it's really really neat. A little bit dark here and there. Some yellow for the center and some citrus green for base of my uh, center before I fix the flower. Okay, so only dust covers. And I will make one white and one pink. So, first one. Uh, my brush. So nice brush. Let's say that here I, will, I can come with my plastic so it will be easy for me to clean rough side smooth side and i'm starting with rough side and i'm always always aiming the rough side to be a face of my uh, flower and the thing that people will see from the flower okay just a little bit i will try not to go crazy with color because uh, it's only one so hold and start from edges simply so here it's up to you you can go with a little bit more dark you can go all the way you can keep pink only over the edges as you know the cross it's really a nice variety of stuff then turn around and just a little bit uh, smooth side as well you can dust the smooth side completely okay so dusting and for conditioning i will go with water okay inside we have a clear water in a nice 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 spray bottle so here the main thing is to work with a really fine spray bottle okay so because this paper is 0 0.27 i really don't need too much moisture and it's something like to spray all over and that's it okay help moisture to go inside and to melt this dust Power will go completely into paper sponge veining tool this is optional by the way if you're in a hurry you can skip this stage again if you want this flower to be not crazy expensive so you can and then you can turn around and give some over the smooth side as well bow tool so you can skip veining but uh, the shaping with bow tool is absolutely must because nothing in nature is flat okay you have to give some movement and some dimension then with a smaller bow tool some pinch okay 
Uh, I told you that for assembling I will need a little bit yellow inside. So a little bit yellow, my yellow brush. So just a tiny and a little bit green for base. Green will go with another dish because then I will need some green for the green parts. Okay, so dust. And you can come and apply some green here as well. Okay. Fine center. Don't escape. So. blue brush and glue and now it's time that I'm applying glue over the base of my center and I just pinch the whole group so pinching the group now you can continue with shaping giving some movement here and there and let's say that And it so depends if you want this flower to be more close or more open. Usually we all are aiming for one flower to uh, so it's um, we are trying to really to fit one flower that will be enough for the whole cake. So position, press, press. So here is how it looks at the back. And leave to dry. Usually I'm drying upside down. And it will wait for calyx. And it's ready. It's that easy. So the white variety. So for the white variety, I don't want any pink on my, my table because it's white. It's going to be only water. So again, you need a kind of two spray. Okay. Make sure that you're, you dry and take away this moisture away from your hands. And again, make sure that moisture is going inside. And same time, you're checking if moisture is everywhere. Okay, so paper is absolutely nice and playable. Let's jump with some texture. And as I told you, I'm spraying over the rough side. Okay. And paper is 0 0.27. So don't think that when I'm when I'm telling you that working with 0 0.27, it's okay. I'm making a joke with you. Okay. So give some shape. Choose one center, and before we go with center, ah, here, do you hear? With the white one, eventually you can come and use Dresden tool. Sorry, um, yeah, it's Dresden tool, broad end, and you can give some extra shaping to this. Just another shaping options uh, to your petals. Okay. So here I will go with green back top and some green here. Okay, so a 
again find center push nice go down and apply some glue so I'm gluing the base and I'm just fixing forward to the base to the center So again, some extra movement here and there and everywhere. Okay, so voila, you have your your flowers left to dry. And while it's drying, I will show you the idea of this uh, super quickly. Uh, foliage making so there is a huge variety of way to create foliage uh, and this time we are making a kind of most quicker one so I have one uh, already covered shaped and everything ready for wire because again here you need to leave this to dry a little bit before you insert wire and I will show you over those the one that I cut with dark edges so here I will go with moss green and citrus green so 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 usually uh, the foliage is a little bit more light back, so apply some citrus green, smooth side. Okay. Turn around. Some rough side. And now rough side will be with more dark moss green. So good foot color is really really nice. And yes you can use other option for coloring your foliage and your flowers probably one of the easiest ways to use airbrush and to airbrush your wafer paper before you start with um, cutting shaping and everything so again water surprise surprise two sprays check shape okay so here we are making a central vein and then we are angling a little bit veining too and first I'm going one side, second I'm going the other side, turn around and do the same. So you're angling according to the central line. line. And then with a sharp end again, give some here and there. Okay. And leave to dry and set a little bit. So next one. Can use brush as well to apply moisture but um, this is a quick flower with quick foliage so it should be done for something like no time I just have to feel kind something like an hour and something so talking nonsense 
I start to feel absolutely as a madman talking to myself. That's why I really love my Zoom week classes. It's a kind of super fun chatting and seeing the students. So wire, uh, something, this time you will need something super fine, so 35. I really try to find the 35 and I have some color in green it doesn't matter you can go with white as well I'm just using some of my pre-colored green one uh, let's use some white as well so 35 it's really really barely there but it's a very thin paper and it's super super tiny foliage so if you go with something heavier it will look absolutely uh, heavy so you want something uh, kind of invisible and I'm looking for my small scissors oh, typical some of the other one curve 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 so use a sharp uh, straight ah okay I found it so now for wiring make a small cut it's really something small something like centimeter and a half and paper it should be really dry because now we are coming with some glue here and if your paper is wet you will be in a kind of situation so apply this tiny 35 as close to the edge as you can and slightly sandwich like this press and pray that you didn't apply too much moisture if you apply too much moisture, because it's super super fine paper, paper will start to melt, so this thing will totally separate at the base. But basically that's the idea for wiring. So quickly the other two. So cut, glue, wire. really really fine wire here even 33 will be heavy so working with 0 0.35 if you eventually are based in UK just look for uh, the old bakery uh, they're supplying this Japanese wire in the UK super lovely people how I missed the Kate International exhibition an opportunity to see all my friends Okay, snow cover. If you eventually overlap too much and you end up with something like a small fishtail here, don't panic, just take your scissor and take away the ugly part. Okay. Don't forget that it's wafer paper. And um, you can reshape with a uh, scissor. Okay. And last one. here your aim is wired to be as close to the edge as you can and when you're overlapping not to overlap as a crazy one so you really don't want to hollow and end up with uh, something very close with your foliage so let's say that stage one is ready uh, second stage 
you can come and highlight a little bit all those and here I have another dark green so it's a grass green you need a fine brush and a tiny amount of um, airbrush green color okay if the airbrush green color it start to disappear as in my case uh, a little bit water okay now we are good so you have the idea of where is the, uh, the central one so just follow the identification and come and gently cover And having this especially into the central center, uh, you will totally mask the, the wire and cut. So another thing that you can do eventually, if you want, you can apply a little bit of this dark green water airbrush mix over the edges. So you will kind of highlight the edges a little bit. And I'm keeping back white, uh, light green. So. And here, when I come with dark, I will mask this. And you can see that paper it's really still nice and playable and you can give some shape of the foliage in different dimension and direction. So I'm almost there. I need to fix uh, two super quickly calyxes and it's, uh, it's ready. So I'm all yours for questions. Let's hope that you're having fun. So, your foliage. Left and right. Calyx. So, one. And two. Okay, but before fixing calyx, you have to apply some porously tape here hope that everyone knows how to tape and uh, best to go with quarter of length of your porcelain tape it's not a strong wire so aim your tape to be really fine it's always nice to start a kind of 45 degree a little bit loose below push come to top and then keep this 45 degree quickly come down okay Second one, so a little bit below, push, push, 
45 and voila so here I will apply a little bit dust cover when I fix calyx but first calyx so here is absolutely the same uh, this time we are applying the wrong brush uh, dust cover again some mix of some mix of this uh, citrus green and moss green and I'm applying only over the rough side this time so I will keep this as clean and white as it can be sitting over the dust okay This thing away, this thing away. So again, spray. Uh, it's super, super tiny one, so you don't need too much. It's a kind of one spray, absolutely enough. On your sponge, rub side down, Dresden tool, sharpen, give some shaping over the sepals okay uh, small bow tool okay. your flower pinch so bring it here and when it's here you have to come with some glue so don't apply glue on early stage because paper will become uh, soft and you will have problems to bring paper here so don't go crazy with glue just you really don't need too much moisture to glue paper and in paper it's fit it's um, gluing best to wafer paper so it's a uh, very very small amount so your flower next one so one spray check 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 Turn around, sharpen, give some movement, tiny bow tool, push your flower. Okay. So push. position over the top and come with glue okay. and there is a really a different way of conditioning wafer paper probably this one with water and spray bottle is the most let's say easiest one but nothing is that easy with wafer paper you really have to know very well the material before you start to feel super confident okay you can leave the white one exactly the way it is without anything but if you catch only the edges with something dark in my case plum um, it just will look nicer So now paper is completely dry, so it's super super easy to apply and catch only edges. So 
amazing column then is having a fabulous class about roses by the way you can check and as I told you during the summer period all my lessons are going with three record stuff available for a kind of few weeks only so you can come and touch with some plum center uh, a little bit plum here and there again uh, if you don't get enough money just stop wire and get ready for the cake so how to store this flower just think of this wafer paper stuff as gum paste whatever you're not planning to do with gum paste flowers or sugar flowers don't do to wafer paper as well so keep in mind that wafer paper loves uh, humidity but it's really not a huge fan of moisture so if you have some big drops coming over the wafer paper you will end up with uh, some holes so you can see here hope that you can see here probably with uh, spraying I end up with a big amount of water and I have this uh, kind of super funny and nice um, sexy looking uh, effect, effect uh, which looks as effect as long as I don't have these spots all around my flower everything it's okay you can present this as a some insect Hello India! I miss my traveling all around. I had such a lovely time in India. Wondering will we will be able to travel again and see each other again in Rio with all those restrictions. So assembling foliage usually it's nice if you have one on top and at least two left and right down so 26 or 24 up to you quarter again start a little bit below place come to the top and start to go down and now we are placing left and right right is this one okay and you can have another two I just love to have as many green one and I don't have that much foliage so let's make quickly another set Go down left. Uh, here we have two left because I didn't show that left handed one and go down. So you can have your flowers with some foliage. So your three white. And you can place another one here. And let's say that you have a kind of super sweet top uh, for a christening cake or something. And 
safe with the whole length this time. Or you can use those separate to go as a kind of nice fewer flower here and there. If you have something like more complicated arrangements as the one that I have here. So you just can go and place here and there more of your flowers just to fill gaps. Of course this have to be on a long wire. Okay. But only to show you I can put this here. Uh, let's say that this green thing can go into this cup as well. So, voila, here you have the, uh, the cross from wafer paper. I'm turning camera up to my face now, so I will be able to answer your questions. Uh, keep in mind that if you eventually want to give this tiny sweet flower a go and you make a post and tag me that you get this knowledge from me, you will be able to get a code with some discounts if you want to purchase some of my video lessons. So if you tag me, I, I will be able to send you a discount code. Okay, people, so let's move away from my face hello hope that you enjoy uh -huh. happy that you enjoy Tracy um, it's not the first time that you're taking some class but I think that it was interesting even for my regular students because it's a, a kind of super super quickly and easy technique Hello Elaine. So oh it even looks good on me. Uh, the length of the paper I never measured the length because I'm using the cutter and the cutter is uh, <laughs> let me check the length of the as I told you I'm using the patchwork cutter set uh, to to take all the stuff so it's exactly the length of this central part it's something like 7 to 2 but uh, it's really best if you if you have your cutters to take a good template so everything will fit and the flower complete flower will look uh, with a good proportion without some crazy stuff mm. patchwork cutter se kazvat uh, patchworkcutters.com te sa za zaharna dekorácia i posle možeš na čelotu da go vidiš uh, da Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to use 0 0.22. Uh, I make a compromise working with 0 0.27 instead of 0 0.35. Can you imagine me going down to 0 0.22? Of course you can, but uh, it will be really special if you're new to this uh, very adventure. But if you feel confident to work with 0 0.22, just work with whatever you feel confident, really. It's not necessary to stick to thickness that I feel comfortable to work with. But for this flower even 0 0.22 can go nicely because you don't have uh, too complicated texturing and uh, crazy coloring and this kind of stuff. So it's all about flowers that you're making and the final result that you're aiming for. Yes, Elaine, I was, I'm, I'm teaching this uh, miniature roses and I give your um, 
shop for people to order set if they're in Europe so but if you jump to patchworkcutters.com you can see the full list of suppliers and uh, you can order it's really really not expensive and if you want to enjoy some of my uh, lessons you can go to waferpaperflowers.com probably I will put this into um, comments when I finish and you can check all the stuff because the peony lessons wafer paper one believe or not uh, at the moment there they can be purchased as a separate lesson there are three different variety and it's only till the end of the month then the whole lesson will go as a pack with the whole four variety because the fourth variety this one goes only with the pack offer and miniature roses and uh, corn the corn corn flower this one here here and the blue thing uh, they are coming they are coming Monday so they have a kind of 10% discount at the moment till Monday happy that you enjoy wafer paper really can be a lot of fun and you can achieve uh, crazy crazy stuff yes the peonies are really amazing and they're a pretty huge one and you have um, with this lesson it calls ultimate one because I try to cover the four most common centers and you have uh, different templates for all this stuff uh, so after this you can be able to make whenever you want let me read the question do you recommend spraying as a positive uh, no if you feel confident with brushing just brush uh, spraying it's a very very good thing as well if it's a quickly thing just spray especially if you have a good spray bottle by the way if your spray bottle makes some snakes and uh, a lot of uh, dots uh, brush yeah it really depends on the flower and what you're aiming for so if you're adding texture with a lot of different stuff as veiners um, definitely spring it's not that fun so welcome anything else or I can leave you to enjoy your afternoon or evening or morning depends where you are situated really thank you for watching into middle of the week something like no time six o'clock my time it's one of the many way to attach leaves to a flower so <laughs> happy that you enjoy hey Liam thanks so if this this is it I really can leave you and I can go later on and check if there is more questions and I can answer so if you watch this demo later on and if you have questions just uh, yes I'm using fractal I really love fractal it's super super easy to get fractal in Europe but um, it's really again especially when we are into the lockdown situation and shipping stuff from different parts of the world are kind of crazy um, just look at the locals thank you margaret thank you for the invitation and for your patience to wait for me that long hope that everybody enjoyed i was really wondering what to show and uh, how to amaze you to try wafer paper stuff because wafer paper really could be uh, a lot of fun and not only fantasy stuff so much love from Sofia Bulgaria with Korean hearts
stay safe, positive, and um, don't forget that if you end up with nice looking flowers, you can tag me and get a discount code from some of my video lessons that are listed in the website waferpaperflowers.com. Again, thanks a lot.